Carlo Fusco is one of the lawyers representing Paolo Gabriele, the Pope's butler that was found in possession of confidential documents. Fusco is a childhood friend of Gabriele's. The two have known each other their entire lives. He says he was very surprised when Paolo called him, seeking representation, in a case that had taken international media by storm. For me it had a very strong emotional impact, and without doubt there is a friendship and affection that binds me to Paolo, but I tried to be as neutral as possible for the sake of the process. After overcoming his shock, Fusco began to think about how he would defend his friend against charges of aggravated theft of confidential documents. Along with his partner Cristina Aru, the two began to prepare their case including how Gabriele would handle his interrogation. La prima volta, uh... The first interrogation was very short, about half an hour to an hour, because we, his lawyers, advised Paolo not to respond. We still did not know exactly what had happened, and we had to fully understand what we were talking about. The second interview lasted about three hours, and the last one around six to seven hours. Gabriele has collaborated extensively since the beginning. Carlo Fusco says that Paolo acted alone and theories of conspiracy or accomplices are absolutely unfounded. It's false as far as what I know from the facts. However, the judge did work for 50 days and I only know the facts related to Paolo. But if these fantasies were true, the judge would have had other views, other questions for the only defendant, Paolo Gabriele. According to his lawyer, the only motivation Gabriele had for releasing these documents was to do something good for the Pope. His idea was to do something for the Pope. That's why he carried out a series of events that I can't specify right now, but will be in the judgment to be issued late next Wednesday, and it will describe these acts. But I can say that he wanted to do something good for the Pope. That is without doubt. Fusco says it's highly unlikely that Paolo will receive a full acquittal. He will have to stand trial, and if found guilty of aggravated robbery, the butler of the Pope could serve a sentence of six years in an Italian jail.